guys, welcome back to the channel. Got some snow yesterday. I was hoping to fire up the old loader and get out there and move some. But as you just witnessed, we got a crank no start. Now what you didn't see off camera is I already pulled the spark plug out, turned it over, and saw that we have spark. So that tells me it's a gas issue. I'm hoping that a little piece of rust or something busted off of here and got into our fuel line. So let's take a look at our fuel system. Okay, so we got our fuel filter off. And when we turn on our fuel line, it should just pour out of there. Okay, and it is. So, bad news is, is that tells me there's something wrong with the carburetor then. All right, it does look pretty nasty, so maybe that's good news. Yeah, yeah, this thing is gooey let's go grab some carb cleaner and get that Yeah, that's nasty. Oh yeah, this baby's all gummed up. So I think we found our problem, which is good. Now let's get a clean working space and uh, really dig into this. There is a lot of goo in there. Okay, so we're gonna clean each individual piece. Move over here. That sprayed off, cleaned. Actually, we got a lot of rust in this one. I'm going to see if I have, I think I have one of these from a different one we can use. Because that one's pretty rusty in there. And getting that rust out could be challenging. Okay, so we have a spare one. That one's got some dust in it. Rust dust, I call it. Oh yeah, that one shines up a lot better. Look at that. So we've got our clean parts over here. Put that in there. This in here so I don't lose it off my spare one. Okay. All right. 
Let's see. Pull this guy out. Yeah, he's pretty crody. Let's spray him off. Set him down over here. Pull this top guy out. And on this guy, you can see some little holes. And we need to make sure those are clean, clean. Oh, I can't really see. There we are. See those little holes in there. So now we're going to grab one little wire from our wire brush. Whoop, that went flying somewhere. Want a nice straight one. That one's not straight. Try to cut it off so it goes down this time. There we are. And now, we've got a nice little wire brush for making sure those holes are all clean. All right, we'll spray this guy off. Wipe her down. Okay. Add him to my pile over there. And this should just be the idle screw. And this guy doesn't have any um, holes or anything to clean. Right. Gotta get this guy out. Float comes out like that. I'm going to clean that float up later. But let's put these parts in here so we don't lose them. Oh, wow. Look at that grodiness inside the carburetor. That is insane. Wow. That is nasty. Yeah, look at that. I think we definitely found our issue here, people. Okay, that, yep. Okay, so we got that guy back in. Now let's see about how our float hooks up. I'm going to shake it, make sure it's still floaty. I don't hear anything in there. Here we are. 
can is still in there. There we are. Okay, now a little needle goes in here and we'll sink it all the way down. All the way down. Big needle goes here. That one will sink all the way down as well. Okay, and our We looked it up, and for the little guy here, it's just one turn out. And for the long needle, it is two and a quarter. One, two, and a quarter. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in today. That's how we clean that carburetor. I'm gonna have to do a part two for this, so tune in for that, and we'll get this baby up and running.